welcome, lovely one. Welcome to my channel. And today's conversation is about having that feeling that you are meant for more in life. And um, so I've got several theories here, but before I get stuck into today's session, I'd love it if you would like and subscribe to the channel. And if you feel the content that I've delivered today is helpful to anybody else, I'd love it if you were to share it. And then we can help empower even more people together. So, meant for more. It's that feeling of, you, you know, at best, there's nothing wrong with your life. You feel blessed. In fact, you might even be thinking, who am I to want more than I have? You might even be in a position on the other hand where you've been settling for less for far too long. You might even have had children and they've grown up and left home and you're thinking, now what? I know I've got more in me and I'm meant for more. In addition to being this, this amazing parent and perhaps we're feeling the effects of lockdown. You know, we were put into an environment that our soul does not thrive in. We are hardwired for connection, for survival, and our mental and emotional survival, not just our physical survival. And perhaps you may have started to think, because we lived in a smaller world, that we don't need much in life but I guess we do need meaning don't we without doubt we need meaning never mind I guess I know we need meaning meaning makes us feel that we are worthy that we are valued that we are giving more than we are taking meaning means that we have purpose meaning gives us hope meaning puts us in situations we might not normally be in. Meaning gives us fulfillment. And so following lockdown, I know a lot of people that felt that their dreams, their goals, their inspirations, their aspirations had got a fire blanket placed over them and a sense of, I should consider myself lucky. I'm not as unfortunate as the people that didn't do well in lockdown. All of these things, all of this rationale and these reasons in some way keep us smaller than our heart has plans for. So whatever the reason you have this feeling inside you of, I feel like I am meant for more. You are in the right place. And maybe you know what your meaning is for life or what you are meant for more of. Maybe you can articulate it really well. But this film is for you if you don't know where to start. And I have an unlocking question for you as well as a wee story about my own journey of discovering and the particular moment I realized I was meant for more. And um, I am going to share the question with you, but I'm just going to share the story with you first. Now, take me back uh, to being a 19 year old girl, no qualifications, left home when I was 17. That's another story as to why. Um, I was considered the black sheep in the family and not ac academic. And so I got a job in a hotel and on my application form, I put that in five years, I wanted to do sales. And so then fast forward, uh, how long till I was 34, so uh, 17 years, I achieved that. I did sales within five years, absolutely loved it. And fortunately kept getting um, believed in by managing director after managing director that led me into getting promoted and promoted and promoted. And I considered myself so incredibly lucky that I'd had the career that I had against all odds, against what other people thought and against even what a part of me felt. But I had this feeling inside me of, 
Well, first of all, there was the thought of if I always do what I've always done, I'll always have what I've always had. And then there was also this feeling of but my life has to have more meaning than making money for a big company. And yes, whilst I have enjoyed doing this and it's really proven to me who I am and what I'm capable of and tested my limits and tested my um, limitlessness, I think I know deep down I have more to give and yet I still don't know what it is. And it was a few days later I was getting on the train to go to Edinburgh that I picked up a coaching book. I didn't even know what coaching was. And there was a question in it that I'm going to share with you in a moment. And this question, when I brainstormed without limitation, without <clears throat> our butting, without shrinking, without eliminating, as each idea came to the surface, I just landed it on a page. I allowed my heart to speak, even though my brain was what so for example I wanted to be a motivational speaker and yet I was terrified at public speaking at our sales conferences or sales meetings I knew I wanted to work with people on their belief because I just loved that brain connection to what we believe affects how we see things and do things and I wanted to do so much more of that and understand that the academia around it, the theory around it, and put it into practice. I was fascinated in the mind and what the mind could do and how we could change our thoughts and how we could reshape them and how we could then have different experiences. Oh, and I knew I wanted to work with people on it, but I didn't know what it was. And I brainstormed it all down and a friend said to me, that looks a lot like coaching. And so I explored what what that was. I was careful who I shared that thinking with, that exploration with, which is what I'll encourage you to do is to incubate it like a baby. You know, it's in its premature stage. So we incubate it, we protect it, we nourish it, we love it. We allow it to grow. And I'd like you to do the same with your discovery from this question I'm going to give you in a moment. I'd like you not to hand the baby around too soon where you are then living with other people's thoughts imposing your mind other people's projections other people's limitations other people's idea of what's possible for you so once I had become really clear I trained to be a coach a business coach master practitioner of neuro-linguistic programming and hypnosis then the question, again, unlocked another thinking a few years later. And I became a firewalking and empowerment instructor, an advanced instructor, master instructor, now master trainer of instructors, where I get to do this amazing work with people, where they become instructors, that they unlock people's potential themselves. Honestly, when I answered this question that I'm going to give you 20 years ago, I could not imagine this life I'm living now that has so much meaning in it, in everything that I do, in everything of, every, of who I am. And the question is, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? And I invite you not to sit at a desk and write the answers down. I invite you to take your heart for a walk with the question and just allow in all this open space on a walk, allow your heart whispers to be interpreted by the mind, capture it all. Allow it to be expressed down onto paper or into your notes on your phone without limitation, without editing, without our butting. And just once you've done that, sit with it for a few days before you start taking any action. Just become familiar and comfortable with, with this awareness that's come to the surface. 
and then the journey begins. But that awareness part, having the courage to sit with that awareness part is king. Absolutely is amazing. And if you find that when you've come to answer that question that you've been blocked in some way, might be fear, it might be over considering other people, it might be the attachment to certainty, you can get in touch with the coach. I personally do one-to-one coaching sessions with people as part of a program where we unlock that meaning of more, of purpose. Uh, we unlock it and we unlock, therefore, what what would my vision be to um, live in meaning and purpose? How would that look in my life? What would my goals be? What would I need to stop doing? What would I need to start doing? Who would I need to include? Who would I need to exclude? Uh, How do I go about it? And that is such an amazing journey to take with a coach. Because certainly from my point of view, my, my interest is in your living your life on your terms with meaning that matters to you. You know, some people embark on the fire walking and empowerment instructor training course that they start on it thinking, oh, I'm going to be a fire walking instructor and then realize that that what they got out of it in addition to that was an unlocking of their own empowerment, their own understanding of themselves, uh, their own expression and awareness. So lovely. If you want help with the question, if you want the help with implementing it, if you want the help with the the journey, then please get in touch. I'd happily have a conversation with you. You can have a a little consultation to see if I feel a fit for you, or you can go to another coach and see if they're a fit for you. I hope this has been helpful to you. I will never forget the moment I realized I was meant for more. And it reoccurs as I grow and expand in life. So if this video has been helpful, please like, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a really great day. Sending you lots of love. Mwah.